Hey, what's up guys? So I want to do a cool video here where I explain how to use the filter function in JavaScript. Then I'll explain how to use it in Clojure and then we can just compare the two afterwards. So they're going to be two separate videos. So like one for the JavaScript, one for Clojure. Um, but also a bit of a comparison at the end. I'm cool again. So first off, how does filter work in JavaScript and why would you use it? Well, say you had um, an array of cars and you wanted all the cars older than the year 2000 and you deem these new cars. And then you deem these as like new cars and you wanted to just grab new cars. Well, you could easily do that using filter and I'll show you how. So first off, we need an array of cars. So I'm gonna make a new array here called cars. And inside that array, I'm gonna have multiple car objects. So I'm gonna make a Toyota, and that will have the make Toyota and the year 2012. And let's make a few of them. We can make a Mazda, and that year can be 1990 can make a Honda 20, 2003 and then we can have a BMW and the year can be let's say 1979. Cool and then we can just populate our cars array with those cars so I have a Toyota, a Mazda, a Honda and a BMW and if we log those Cool, we can see we have uh, an array of our cars. And what we wanna do is we wanna filter out the new ones. So let's make a function called isNew. So we'll say const is new, and this function will take a car, and new cars are after the year 2000, and it'll return car.year greater than 2000. Cool. So let's, if we log is new Toyota. True, it's new, but if we do the Mazda, it's not new. Cool. So, how do we use filter? So, filter is a method attached to arrays in JavaScript. And what filter does is uh, it loops through the array and runs every item in the array through a function. And if that function returns true, then that item is returned. If the function returns false, then the item is skipped, and then the predicate function is run on the next item. So if we passed filter is new and log the result, then we see that Toyota is returned and Honda is returned because both those makes are past the year 2000. If we made a new function called is old, and that takes a car and returns car.year less than or equal to 2000, and if we filter cars by is old, then we only get old cars. We can also write this a bit more succinctly. Um, if we do, let's do this, car const filtered cars, and let's replace this log with filtered cars. So we can go cars.filter, and then we can pass through an anonymous function. So to do that, we just put empty brackets, and then the arrow of syntax, and let's say true. So now all cars are returned. So what this does is basically it just returns true. But now let's filter out old cars without using these functions. So let's take a car here and then all we do is return car.year is over 2000. Then we filter, we only return new cars. Cool and that's in essence, filter for JavaScript. Cool, now let's look at filter in Clojure. So it's very simple as well. Okay guys, so now let's look at doing a filter in Clojure. This is actually the second time I recorded this. 
Um, but Eugene pointed out that I was following the JavaScript styling guide because I was in the, closure, uh, in the JavaScript mindset. Now let's do it using closure formatting and the closure styling guide. So we want to do the same thing. We want to define some cars um, that have a make and a year and then we'll get to our predicate functions. So let's first make our cars. So to make a car, we can bind, uh, we'll use def and we can bind a map to Toyota. Um, and then we'll say make is Toyota and the year, let's say 2012. Cool, so off the bat, you can immediately see the keys are different. So these, um, these are called keywords in Clojure and the way they work is that they actually allow us to use them as a function and grab data from a, a map. So if we wanted the year from this car, we could say year, we'll pass through Toyota and this will actually give us the year, 2012. Cool. So let's make a, oh, also one more thing. You can see that no, there's no commas. Everything is divided by spaces in Clojure. So let's just make a few cars. I'm gonna make a Mazda, and that year will be 1990. And we'll make a Honda, and that year will be, let's say, uh, 1986. And then we can make a BMW, and that year, let's make it 2016. Cool, so now we have our individual car maps. Let's add them to an array of cars. So we'll define cars as a vector and we'll just pass through all of these cars. Again, there's no commas. There's the Honda and BMW. And now if we print these out, there we go, we can print it out and we can see all of our cars in the vector. So now let's work on filtering them. So filter in Clojure works much like it does in JavaScript. It takes a predicate, runs it through each item in the vector and returns us the result if the predicate returns true. So let's first make our predicate function and we'll define a function and we'll say is new and this will then take a car and it will return if the year of the car is greater than 2000. Cool, so right off the bat, there's a few differences here with then with JavaScript. We use our hyphen, our snake casing, um, and we can actually add question marks to variable names or function names. And that just basically indicates whether it returns true or false. And then we see we don't have a return. So in Clojure, all returns are implicit. So the last form evaluated will be the result of that function. So now we can say is new and we can pass through Mazda and run that. Oh, first we have to put this in our REPL. Then we can run this. True, Mazda is new. Uh, because it is after 200, this has to be 2000. <laughs> then we reevaluate the function and cool, it's not new. But if we pass Toyota through here and run this, it is new. So now to filter through um, our vector cars, we can run the filter function, pass through our predicate function and pass through cars. And this will return all new cars, which is awesome. We can make an is old function really easily if we just duplicate this function, make this is old, and then change the greater than to less than or equal to. Can run this and evaluate this in the filter. Cool, and here we go, we have all of our old cars. So we can also like enclosure, use an anonymous function instead of defining a function here. So let's replace this is old with an anonymous function. So we can go um, open brackets, fn, then this function takes a car, and then it returns whether the year of the car is less than or equal to 2000. 
And then the first thing we need to put here is the year of the car. And then we can run this. Cool, and we have cars that are older than the year 2000. Um, but we can even make this anonymous function shorter. So Clojure has, let me just comment this out. Clojure has a way of writing anonymous functions in a very shorthand syntax. And the way you do that is we put a hashtag here or a pound sign. Then we want to see whether the year of the car is less than or equal to 2000. And here we can just get the year. And instead of, because we haven't, um, because we haven't bound the argument to a variable name, we just put a percentage sign. And this percentage sign refers to the argument. So this would be the car here in this case. And then if we evaluate this, we get the same result. And if we make this greater than 2000, cool. We get all the cars that are newer than the year 2000. So now what I'm gonna do is to compare this to JavaScript, I'm gonna copy this code exactly how it is and then write it in a JavaScript file. So let's just copy this, paste it in here, get rid of this. And now let's look at how we can convert our closure code to JavaScript code. So the first thing we wanna do is replace all our defs with the const keyword. Then what we wanna do is assign these variables values. So we use the assignment statements. Then we, we don't have keywords in JavaScript, so we replace the keywords with keys. So we get rid of the colon there and we put the colons here. Then we do the same thing with year. There. Um, and then we also need to use commas because spaces don't work in JavaScript like they do in Clojure. And let's get rid of the trailing brackets here. Same thing with cars. We have const. We are just assign it to this array and put in our commas. Cool. And it's this define function. We want it to be a new function. So const is new, we're not using snake case, but camel case um, it's equal to, uh, well, car is the argument, so it goes in brackets. And then um, using arrow functions, we can also use implicit returns. So we'll take the year of the car, so car dot, dot year, um, and we'll move this to the middle greater than 2000, and we can just get rid of these brackets. Cool, and now we have our is new predicate function. We can do the same thing with this is old function. So instead of this defend, we'll say const is old, we'll turn into and no question mark. Then it's equal to a function, we'll put the arguments in here. Then it's an error function, and we can use the implicit return as well. So this will be dot year and then we need to move this less than or equal to to the middle and cool there we go and now for our filter we can just run it on the cars array so cars dot filter we can pass through our predicate function so it's new and that will give us the results Cool, and here we go, cars are filter, it filters the new cars, and is old, filters the old cars. And that's pretty much it for filter in Clojure versus filter in JavaScript. There are some key differences. Thanks Eugene for pointing out my, uh, my faux pas. Uh, I hope not to make many more of them. Thanks, cheers guys.